always been there now since, but after service, she has a book signing, and I've been reading her book, and it is fantastic. I mean, it is a heart tugger, but it really lets you see her life, and her life has been incredible, and where God has brought you from, and where God has brought you to, and what he's brought you through, and where he's about to take you. Oh my goodness, I see it, I see it all. So thank you, Lord. Which mic did you uh, the green one. practice on? Okay, well, come on, let's welcome Evelyn Elkins, everybody. Praise the Lord for her morning, and praise the Lord, everybody. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so happy to see all your beautiful faces. Thank you, Pastor Tucker, and co-pastor Lady Tucker, my friends, my, my just, I just love your leadership. You are such beautiful people. And God has really placed a special anointing over you and inside of you that just, it exudes love. It exudes love, which is one of the most beautiful things. You know, we live in a world where there's just so much hate, hatred, and so many things that go on. And a lot of people, all they really want is love. So I thank you for the love of God that's inside of you, the Holy Spirit that resides in both of you, and your leadership over this beautiful congregation. So we're going to get into praise and worship, yeah. amen. Yeah. So if you want to stand up on your feet, if you want to clap your hands, if you want to worship, however the Lord leads you to do, just feel free to do that, amen. amen. All right.
sick in your bed, you can call on Jesus. Yeah. No matter if you're down to your last time, you can call on yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why is it good? We're in the new year. We're in the new year. Pastor Tucker, I asked Pastor Tucker, I said, what is the scripture? that you guys are going off of. And he said, restore. He talked about it's in the book of Joel. Yeah. I don't know exactly what verse it is, but he um, mentioned that God is restoring yeah. what the locusts tried to eat. Yeah. So God is restoring everything in the body of Christ. Yeah. Amen. Everything. You take it back. Take back your joy. Take back your peace. Take back your children. Take back your finances. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So God, God is a promise keeper. He keeps his and we know that as we read in the yeah. word of God, we see the promises of God that are being fulfilled. Amen. Amen. So this Amen. next song that I'm going to sing, I actually combined three songs. It's about uh, the covenant that God has for us. And God is called Yahweh. And Yahweh is actually uh, it, it's interpreted as Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. All right. So we're going to get the music going. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
right now. This next one is called Don't Listen. Uh, don't listen, because we have different voices speaking to us, and God said, choose this day whom you will serve. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we have to be mindful of the voices and discerning of when God is speaking to us and it's coming from his spirit versus when it's coming from another spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how we do that is we renew our minds every day with the word of God. Yeah. We spend time in worship. We spend time in prayer. And we spend time fellowshipping other monks uh, amongst yeah. other brothers and sisters yes. within the body of Christ. It helps to keep you strong. So don't listen. Mm. He be roaring. <laughs> Seeking to steal your destiny. Mm. Don't listen. Mm. Lying about who you are. The father of lies. Sometimes he comes in disguise. Deception. Deceptive. He just want to get your attention. And point you in a broad direction. Leading you out of God's will. God's witness protection and in covenant with him. Don't listen. He will have you forgetting who you really are. Don't you know you were born to do great things and that God has given you faith to be a shining light and being? God gives you strength and peace. Keep your sanity and your dignity in your pocket. Don't listen to the father of lies who comes to steal, kill, and rob you of your peace. Hear and listen to the voice of the father of truth, the yeah. one who gives you your heartbeat. Take a deep breath. Reset, reflect. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Reset and reflect. Mm -hmm. Let go and let Abba Father do his thing. Because if your pulse is still beating, trust you are not without purpose and meaning. God's trying to get your attention. What do you think salvation is for? It is available for you. Close the door to that foothold that won't let go of you. It cannot break you. Don't listen. Get Jesus in your spirit and kick the father of lies out of your head. You have a life to live and you will do it with holy, divine intentions, direction, discretion, discipline, and protection. So don't listen to the one that tells you that you don't. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. So that was the third one. And then I have one more piece. And I have, it was just so many pieces God was giving me to share, but I was like, oh, we got 15 minutes. Um, to share with this particular body. So I'm going to share this last piece. And um, God had a lot of words for you guys. But I'm going to share this last piece. Okay. I'll have a few more to share after as the Lord uh, leads. So this last piece is titled, You Will Not Fail. Uh -huh. Which is on page 73. All right. All right. You will not fail. Arise. Awake. Walk, jog, sprint. Keep going, you will not fail. This journey has given you the endurance to win the race. This journey has built your character as God saw fit. You are stronger than you think. Your bones are revived. You are alive. It's no surprise that you've made it here. Keep going, you will not fail. It's no surprise that the fire within your bones moves. Sons and daughters, your voice gives strength to bones, sight to the blind, hope to the hopeless. Because God's Holy Spirit within you is relentless. You will not fail because his love for you never will. Amen. 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 Amen